Welcome to MB Shoe Dock. Today we turn this into this. Let's begin. All right, another day, another custom patina on some strands. I do love working on Alan Edmund strands. They always turn out great. We begin by stripping the factory finish with acetone. I use acetone just from the hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot and a small cotton ball. Notice already how much lighter the toe is on the one shoe and how much color has come off. Now that both shoes are stripped, we're going to use Fibing's Beige for our base coat. I typically start at the toe and work my way towards the back of the shoe. The base coat is now complete, so I switch to tan to begin to add a little bit of burnishing. I moved on to light brown to add a little bit more burnished effect. I've moved on to Savannah from Saphir. This color is a fair amount darker and really will accentuate the burnished effect and I'll also be adding it to the broguing to make it stand out more as well. I'm going with a second and lighter coat of Havana to blend the edges a little bit better. Big Four has become my favorite condition lotion for patina projects. I like Saphir Renovateur, uh, but it does tend to remove a little bit more of the, the dye sometimes than what, I, what I'd like. So I'm going to 
look at using a little cream polish on some areas where maybe I don't love the pattern of the dye. So if you look here, just got a little bit uh, streaky in this area. Don't really love how that looks. And this cream polish will remove a little bit. Tend to kind of smooth and blend things a little bit better. So I'm going to brush these off. So this is the uh, brush that was given to me by Abby Horn, which is kind of cool. They use uh, um, cow and, and deer horns for uh, shoe care products and uh, shaving things and just uh, lots of neat, neat products there. shine on these guys so I'm starting with Saphir Mirror Gloss in neutral and I find that uh, put on a little bit thicker uh, base layer of wax I like to use my, my hand typically for this part that gives me just a little bit better control Then for the uh, for the mirror shine at the end, uh, I do use a cloth. And I won't, you know, I won't mirror shine along the vamp any place where it's creasing, because uh, that will crack. But you can do a thin little layer like this, and that's not going to hurt anything. I typically do. Unfortunately, I lost a little bit of my uh, video, so this is going to appear to jump ahead a little bit. A little bit of Saphir PDL. Here we've got them all shined up and ready to go. If you enjoy this video and enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.